What's up guys, Eric here. Welcome to Rant and Review. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Arrow season and series finale for season eight called Fade Out. So careful for spoilers if you're not caught up with Arrow this season or if you didn't get a chance to like watch any of the crisis stuff because it all sort of ties together with this. So all of that, you, it's just a bunch of spoilers. I'm just throwing a bunch of spoilers out there. If you don't want to be spoiled by any of that, then do not watch the rest of this video, okay? You've been warned. So before we talk about my thoughts on the episode, because it really was just like a love letter to the fans and it kind of paid tribute to certain things, um, we'll talk about that at the end of this video. First thing I want to talk about is something from comicbook.com. Um, it's the early numbers that are coming in from last night's episode, and I don't typically do this in a rant review, but I want to do it now because this will be the last review of uh, Arrow that I'm going to be doing. Um, I may do a season overview, but this is going to be the last episode review for Arrow. So I want to talk about this because it's not going to go in the multiverse mega video, and these numbers may change on playback and stuff, but these are the early numbers, and even though comicbook.com is, uh, they're not always the best. Um, I'm going to put a link to this article down in the uh, info box below so you guys can go check it out if you want. I'm not going to read the whole thing, um, <laughs> but we're going to kind of skip through. I think the first paragraph is probably the most important for what I want to talk about, so let's read that. Arrow's finale brought the series to an end last night, but apparently the final episode wasn't the grand event that fans in the CW had probably hoped it would be. Okay, just going to jump off here and say that I don't think anyone thought it was going to be like this huge two, three million uh, viewer episode. I, I don't think they thought that at all. Matter of fact, the way that the structure of this was with like the documentary thing and then the episode, it was kind of a love letter to the fans. So it doesn't really matter. Plus a lot of people um, probably watch the series on binging or on streaming. So I don't think that it says too much about like the people that were excited for this, just in all honesty. So I don't think they were worried about that at all. According to reports coming in, Arrow's final episode only pulled in 723,000 total viewers with a low 0.3 rating in the 18 to 49 demographic. Uh, that was a drop of nearly 20% from the previous episode, which acted as a backdoor pilot for the Green Arrow and the Canary spinoff. Yes, we know that. <laughs> the final episode of Arrow lost a whopping 50% of viewership that tuned in for the end of Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, which is an, an unfair comparison. Um, and it was down 100k viewers from the season 8 premiere. So, all in all, Arrow's ending seems to have failed the series. Wow. Wow. That's that's pretty harsh. Um, okay, so let's kind of throw out there my thoughts on this, because I do want to give my opinion when it comes to um, these numbers and stuff. So, like I said at the beginning, I don't think anybody thought it was going to be this huge, like, three, two, three million viewer episode. I, I don't think anyone thought that at all. Uh, this is just them sort of trying to stir the pot, I guess, with that. But they are there is some... I mean, what they're talking about here is legit. These numbers are real. So all the perspective, like thinking what people were hoping for and stuff, that's not really relevant. So it is true. Arrow has suffered quite a bit over the years and the numbers have dropped in terms of viewership, but that happens for a lot of shows. Usually a show will hit a certain point and then it just kind of stays at that level, especially with like the diehard fans and stuff. So I have a couple of theories on what's going on here. Number one is the whole binge thing. People watching it on binging. I don't think that everyone was tuning in for this because there wasn't a real, there wasn't a rush to see this. It, we knew what it was. It was going to be, excuse me, it's going to be the memorial for Oliver. And there was nothing in it that anyone thought was going to stretch out and be a part of anything else other than tying up loose ends for Arrow and sort of saying goodbye to certain characters. So with that in mind, it wasn't something that you had to watch when it was on the air. It, it just it was irrelevant. It didn't matter. And so some people are probably just going to tune in and watch it on streaming. That's one possibility. The other one is that the pilot for the Green Arrow and the Canaries spinoff made a lot of people upset. There was a, This is based on feedback I've received, okay? This is, again, me talking about what I've heard. People didn't like it. They thought it was kind of whack. So they decided not to tune in for the finale because it looked as if the finale was just going to be a continuation of that. And to some degree it was. And we'll talk about that in a second. So that's a possibility as well. But here's the thing. It's the end of the series. This is going to be one of those episodes that you can go back and you can watch and it can be like a love letter to the fans and you don't have to worry too much about any of that. So I think overall the numbers don't really say much in terms of like what it means for, for Arrow as a show. Now, what does it mean for uh, the spinoff series? So I do have a theory here. I think they're probably going to look at this and try to figure out or judge whether or not the viewers want to see this spinoff show based on the series finale. And I only say that because it, there's not a lot of buzz about this series. Like, they're pushing it very hard on Arrow, 
But when it comes to like what you see on social media, I'm not seeing as much buzz as I think they need to promote the show outside of the show to warn it coming to a full season next year. Will we get a spinoff with Mia and the Canaries? I'm going to say right now it looks as if probably. We probably will. And I'm, I'm just thinking the only real reason they may not do it is based on this, the viewership for this finale. And that's that's totally 1,000% speculation on my part. And I just think it's going to be a tough road to try and go up that way. So tell me what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Now, before we talk about this episode, um, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, become part of the Ericverse. It's a great community over here. If you're interested in supporting the channel outside of that, hit the join button and become part of Team Eric for badges, emojis, early access, and exclusive content uh, that you don't get on my main channel. Okay, with that being said, <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about the episode itself. So we knew, like, Felicity came back. I don't think that was a big surprise to anybody. Um... We saw a lot of characters. We saw Kara. We saw Barry. We saw the Al Ghul sisters. Uh, we saw people that came back. We had uh, uh, Oliver's mother, Moira. I always get her name wrong. People say I pronounce it wrong. I just can't say that name. I don't know. Moira was back. Tommy was back. Uh, Roy was back. Thea was back. Uh, there was just a lot of characters. Uh, Emiko was back. And supposedly, when Oliver recreated the multiverse, he restored life to certain people. And his mother said something like, maybe he restored life that didn't affect his journey. But then what about Emiko? What about Tommy? I think it, there was a fairy tale air to this episode. Like it didn't feel real in a way. And I think that was intentional. I think there was supposed to be this fairy tale ending. So we get this sort of side story with Mia once again, being a part of this promoting of her as the green arrow and things like that. And I felt like they just didn't, they just didn't want to put more stuff in from like the past. There was a lot of flashbacks and alternate ways that things ended. Um, but I think they just were like, we don't, we don't want to do that. We just kind of want to create this, this platform for green arrow with Mia as green arrow and things like that. And, and that's kind of where they went. Um, Roy and Thea had a great ending. It was great seeing Oliver's uh, mother back. Um, it was great seeing the Al Ghul's kind of banter. Emiko, don't really understand why she was there. Or, I mean, I, I do kind of, sort of. But if you look at, like, the legacy characters, I don't really understand why she was there with them. And did her story not actually happen? Like, what changes were made to her? We don't know. Um, and just so many things sort of left completely unanswered. Uh, the Monitor returning, like, they, like he did at the end of Season 7, to take Felicity away. How? Why? What's... I don't get that either. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about that ending. So one of the things that people, I hear them talk about was that ending being sort of wrong in so many ways. There's a lot of people that support the Olicity ship and they didn't like it because they didn't like how the, how it played out in terms of the scene and where Oliver saw Felicity first and things like that. There's some people that didn't like that. There's some people that didn't like the fact that Felicity sort of just left the kids and went to be with Oliver. And I mean, I've seen complaints about the show ending with that in general, like this is the end of arrow, like the ship was the show kind of thing. And I think they're all valid complaints. I think all of those are reasons why you should you could be upset about the show and whatnot. But I never expected any of that to be any different. Like I didn't expect Oliver and Felicity to not be a thing at Endgame, like for them, for the two of them. I didn't expect that. And it was a fairy tale ending for Oliver and Felicity in terms of their love, but they sort of just left their kids behind. And, you know, many people would say that Felicity thought that they were in a good place or whatever, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, I feel like you did. You just kind of bailed on your kids and stuff. And I, and it's super selfish. And it also sort of trivializes loss in the Arrowverse because then it makes you question, like, could anybody do that? Could you just go and be with the person that you love? And, and sort of it's, it's again, a fairy tale ending. And that's exactly what it was. And so, you know, whether you like it or dislike it, I kind of expected something along those lines. I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to happen. But it also shows that Oliver is still around. I mean, even though he's existing in the, in the afterlife in this in this world, um, he's not totally gone. So there is a chance we could maybe see him again down the road at some point. Um, I don't know if we will. If we get the spinoff show, possibly. If we don't get the spinoff show, I don't think we will. I don't think we'll see him come back. Maybe for a cameo in a crossover or something, but that's about it. Um, some of the other things that happened, like I guess the big thing was I think Diggle was the MVP of the episode. He sort of had a lot of the time to fill in spaces and things like that. And I loved seeing 
seeing him get all this uh, attention and everything be placed on his shoulders because he really was like the backbone for the series. And I've said that many times when it comes to Diggle. So it was great to see that. And we got that Green Lantern tease at the end where the, you know, we see the ship crash. We see, or I don't know if it's a ship or a meteor. I have to go back and watch it. But anyway, we see this crash and I can't tell if there's an actual alien in the ship or whatever, but he picks up this little box. It's got a green glow in it. We obviously know it's the Green Lantern ring. Do Are we going to see Diggle as a Green Lantern like on the HBO Max show? Probably not. I don't think we will. I mean, we could, but I just don't think we will. Um, I, I think it would be great. We're we going to see a Diggle Green Lantern show on the CW. Probably not. I think a lot, peop, lot of people would rather see that as the continuation. But this does add a little bit of um, issues with like the future stuff because Diggle says he's going to Metropolis, which means he's probably taking his whole family with him. So how do we get back to the point where they're back in Star City? So there's just so many things that just didn't really add up in this finale but you take all of that logic away and you know what i think it was a fitting in for the series subtract the the mia spinoff stuff or whatever and just focus on our characters and i think it was okay i think it was an okay ending it wasn't as bad there's been a lot worse endings for series uh than this so i would say for a season and series ending i'm gonna give it like i really can't give it anything more than like a seven or a 7.5 so I'm kind of lingering between 7 and 7.5. It wasn't a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, a 10 out of 10 would have been a lot more focused on our core characters and not so much promoting the spinoff and these other characters that just kind of showed up recently. So, uh, but that's just my thoughts. I want to know what you guys think. So go down in the comments below. Tell me what you would have scored this uh, episode from 1 to 10. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the finale. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, that's it. Pretty much uh, done with Arrow. I guess this is the last rant and review that I'll be doing. And it's kind of sad. Last multiverse mega video with Arrow. Uh, last uh, after party with Arrow. And this is the last review. It's just, it's crazy. I, I just, I can't imagine not covering Arrow content on my channel. So uh, I guess if the Green Arrow and the Canary show gets picked up, we'll have that to talk about. We got plenty of other shows to talk about. So, but yeah, not having Arrow, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy.